Hi everybody, Shortbox Fool, Mark here. How are you doing out there? You all okay? Yeah, having a good day? Cool, that's what I like to hear, awesome, nice one. Really? Wow, that is that big. That's pretty special. Yeah, you should maybe look in the Guinness Book of Records for that one. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Other than you, because you're having a great day by the sounds of it. But how's everybody else out there? Cool, yeah, that's what I like to hear. Awesome, awesome. Uh, these are all, um, if you haven't seen any of these beforehand, which I don't blame you, but if you have seen them all, you'll probably know this anyway. Uh, <laughs> these are all just little mini hauls that I'm showing you guys out there because over the last few months, I've had a bit of a problem with me, uh, my computer and everything so i'm just breaking down all the hauls that i've had literally over the last month and a half two months since i last big haul video that i did um and if you haven't seen the other videos beforehand go back and see them i think it starts with uh short box form mini hauls issue three if you start from there work your way back this way right i'll meet you here okay do you want to wait or do you want to carry on? All right, okay. For the sake of everybody who's you know, actually seen it already, I'll carry on and you catch up. All right, cool. Um, last two videos I did uh, was the last four weeks of DC's event for 2015 Convergence. Uh, so I thought I'll stick with DC Comics for this, for this one. Uh, so it's just going to be a fairly, fairly short video. <laughs> um, uh, and I'll show you the comics that I picked up over the course of the last month and a half, two months, that was DC Comics. Now this is all going to be sort of stuff that I've picked up around about the time that Convergence was going on. So, you know, this is going to be comics that I picked up in end of, end of April, May time sort of area. Um, DC Comics, this is them. And first up, grab bags. If you have, if you don't know what I'm talking about, with grab bags. Uh, Forbidden Planet in Southampton. What they do is they get all their old comic books, all the newest, newer, but still old comic books that, that you know they, they haven't sold it for whatever reason, and they stick them in grab bags. So you get to see what's on the front of the grab bag. You get to see what's on the back of the grab bag. But oh, buddy, you're right. That's right, that's Kirby the Ferret, by the way, if you haven't already heard him. He's just having a bit of a, a waking up coughing. For, he does it every now and then. You alright, buddy? Yeah? Yeah, he's fine. He's alright. He's, yes, hello. I'm talking to the people from the internet. Yeah. Yeah, okay, alright, yeah. He says hi. Kirby says hi. All right. Um. Yes, anyway, grab bags. Yes, sorry. Grab bags. Forbidden Planet Southampton. Uh, they do grab bags. You know what's on the front of the bag. You know what's on the back of the bag. But the two in the middle are a complete mystery to you. You don't know what's going to be in them. Uh, and they sell them for £2 each. So you, it's basically four comics, 50p each. Which ain't too bad. You know. Uh, so this is one of the grab bag comics. And this is one of the ones that was in the middle. So it just goes a lot to say anything. Uh, this is Action Comics number 39. Unfortunately, it's not the decent Action Comics number 39 from 19... 40s sort of era. This is New 52 action comics number 39. So there you go. So there's that. So you've got Superman with a beard. Um, <laughs> yeah. Not really a great comic. Not really at all a great. No, not really. But there you go. Oh, hum. Life goes on. Uh, Southampton Comics at the Loft Ladder. In Southampton, great guys, absolutely awesome people running that place. Uh, these are some comics that I picked up from them. Uh, we have got a Batman and the Outsiders number three. Awesome, it really is an awesome series. This was, um, yeah, the original Batman and the Outsiders. Really cool. Really enjoyed this series. Really was an awesome series. Uh, I have got I got the complete four issue miniseries of Doctor Fate, which was just brilliant by uh, 
de Matisse, Giffen and Hunt. Uh, we've got issue one. There you go. I still need to re rebag these ones properly. Issue one and issue two. Awesome covers. Really are awesome covers on here. And then you have issue three. There. And this cover for issue four is just beautiful. Really is. Issue four. Look at that. How amazing is that cover? Awesome stuff. Really great miniseries as well. Really is. Um, yes. Uh, I actually picked this one up because this was the issue that was the precursor to Convergence. Uh, I wanted to get the normal cover, cover A, for this comic, but for some unknown reason, I can't think why, cover A and the 1 in 25 cover, which I can understand being quite pricey, uh, you couldn't find them for love nor money. No, they're gone. I don't know whether it's because you know they, they had the low print on or whatever, I don't know, but... The only cover I could find for this, I don't know why, was the Magic Mike movie poster cover. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'll have a decent cover for this one to come through. Um, but, yeah, I didn't pick this up for the cover, obviously. I, I picked this up for the actual comic and, and story inside. Which, I know, for me saying that, does sound a bit peculiar and weird. Yeah. But, yeah. It, like I said, it was the precursor to Convergence, so not necessarily, you didn't have to read it to understand what was going on with Convergence, but it was nice to be able to like, have this little backstory of how they're trying to reimagine and recreate the DC Universe as everything now has happened, so no matter what story that you read in DC Comics from the very first DC comic that was ever printed to the ones now they have all at some point in time those stories have actually existed and do exist and they're part of a continuity that exists on the planet in a multiverse universe in the DC universe simple? yeah, simple um, yeah, so hopefully I said I'm going to get the decent cover for that one uh, Sandman Overture number five. It seems like forever that this mini series, this eight issue mini series, has been going on. Um, and I will admit, I don't think I've read a single issue of this. Um, I've got the mini series. I've got a couple of the the uh, special editions that they bring out with this mini series. But I, I will honestly say, I haven't read any of these. I'm waiting for the whole mini series to come out. And then I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to read all eight issues because the artwork in these comics is just so beautiful. But not only that, you, the way that they've been published by DC, you can't read these comics and make sense of them with the poor way they've been published by DC Comics. Um, you know, I mean, you had issue one in, when was it? June, July, August time last year, and you're only on issue five now. We're halfway through 2015. Yeah, and I know these were supposed to be they're supposed to be every other month, but we're not getting them every other month. We're getting them every three months, every four months, you know. So, but yeah, there you go. That's it. Sandman Overture, Neil Gaiman. Uh, J. H. Williams the third, and Dave Stewart. Uh, I mean, it, it's, this is going to be great in any case because it's Neil Gaiman and uh, J. H. Williams the third artwork, and it is just beautiful. But like I said, I'm I am going to wait until I get all eight issues of the miniseries and then just bulk read a lot of them and actually sit down and read it with, with no distractions. <laughs> Uh, quite possibly the only Wonder Woman comic worth picking up at this time. Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman number 9. Great cover there. Fantastic cover. Um, great stories in there. You get sort of three, three stories with Wonder Woman. Is it three stories or two stories? Sorry, two stories in this one. I could have sworn I read one of them had three stories in it. 
but yeah, you get two stories in here with Wonder Woman. Originally, di digital download to start off with, and then they obviously do it properly in the proper comic. Um, but yeah, great, really great read, really awesome read. Um, I do love me some Doom Patrol. If there's any any comic book uh, group that I really enjoy reading, it's the Doom Patrol. I think the very first Doom Patrol comics I read was Grant Morrison. He got me interested in the the weirdness of the Doom Patrol. The the, the I don't want to say wackiness because that almost diminishes them in a way. But this is showcase number ninety five, and this is the first appearance. I think, I think it's the first appearance of. The brand new Doom Patrol, or back then the second Doom Patrol. There you go. Really cool. Awesome. Awesome comic. Yeah. DC's latest and greatest super team. There. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome stuff. And I got that from the guys at Southampton Comics as well. So, right. Like, there you go. Uh, next one. This is also from Southampton Comics. Uh, still on the showcase sort of like theme here. Uh, in around right about 1992, 93, I think it was, DC brought out a 12-issue miniseries anthology comic called Showcase 93. Uh, and it was a 12-issue miniseries. And it had, you got three stories from three different characters or three different groups of characters in the DC universe. And um, for, I think it was about, what was it? I'm sure it was 93, 94, 95, and I think there was 96. I think they've done four miniseries or four maxi series. They're all 12 issues, and uh, they all had the, the, pro, the, the uh, postfix of. The year that they uh, they were created, and I just realised there's, there's a there's a sticker right over the uh, on the the actual only on the plastic on the on the bag, but still I can't read what it says on it. <laughs> what issue it is? Um, this is Showcase ninety five, and this is issue six with Bebo and Lobo, and also Science Police and the Legionnaires. There you go. And of course, obviously, the real Lobo, not the fake Twilighty thing that's, that was in the comics at the time. Yeah. Yeah, really cool. I used to have all of these until the Great Purge of 90. It must be about 95, I think. 96. Yeah. Um, Sovereign Seven. It was an interesting, interesting book, to say the least. Uh, if I remember right, Sovereign Seven was the first comic book that Chris Claremont created for DC Comics. I don't know if it was the first comic book that he wrote for DC Comics, but it was the first comic book that had characters created by Chris Claremont that was in the DC Universe. Uh, and this one is issue Sovereign Seven, number 27. And this one ties in with the event that happened in 1987. Or was it 1997? Sorry, 1997. I remember it funny. Uh, and this is the Genesis event. And I got this one from our very own Mr. Adam Butterfield. My Butter One. So yeah, he was selling some of the comics that he had. He picked up and he, he didn't really want those. Like, he needed the space for more comics that he was really wanted to get. So uh, yeah, he... Uh, he he gave me this one, which I thought was awesome. Yeah, really great guy. Sort of the earth. Wouldn't have a word said against him. Awesome dude, really is. Um. All right, this one here. Uh, back to Forbidden Planet in Southampton. Uh, not only do they do their grab bags, but they also sell old, uh, newer comics at half price. Just so, yeah, you know, give get them off the shelves, and also to give people. You know, a chance to, to see if there's anything that they possibly wouldn't have picked up normally, but because they're cheaper, you know, it's, it's always a go when they're cheaper. Uh, this is the 
four, second issue of the four issue miniseries, Strange, Sto uh, Strange Sports Stories from DC Vertigo. Uh, and it's an anthology comic based on the Strange Sports Stories that was around in the early to mid 70s, I think. There you go. So, yeah, pretty cool. They're sort of like. They're sort of like science fiction and horror and fantasy stories, but with a a sport motif going through them. So, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, really cool. Enjoying that mini series so far. And then we have issue two. This is one of the grab bag comics. This is this is issue two of Suiciders. From DC Vertigo. There you go. No idea about this. I know a lot of people have been raving about it, but no idea about this whatsoever. And finally, for this video, finally for this video, back to Southampton Comics with this brilliant. Again, I've got I've got the price sticker on it. <laughs> Take it off. Uh, this absolutely brilliant, great Silver Age cover. Um, you could not get a cover like this nowadays purely because I don't think DC know what fun is nowadays really uh, you've got World's Finest number 157 um, a great imaginary novel featuring the sons of Superman and Batman as the abominable brats how would you punish them for their practical jokes and then you've got Superman in there. Boys, no monkey shines. Uh, <clears throat> Boys, no monkey shines today, please. Batman's just finished a tough case. He deserves to get plenty of rest on the, our camping trip. And then you've got... Yeah, I'll show you. You've got Batman just like lying there. Silver Age Batman just, just lounging there on the ground. Uh, resting his head on his cape. And then you've got, obviously, Batman Jr. there. Releasing a frog on his dad, and then you've got Superboy Junior or Superman Junior there setting fire to Silver Age Superman's cape. You know, you you don't get covers like that nowadays, and in a way, it's really sad that you don't because these these were just great. You don't, you know, it. I mean, you got you got Superman heating hot dogs with his heat vision. Come on. This is awesome. You know, you've got you've got basically Superman and Batman's sons playing pranks that you know any kids would play on their parents, but you know, to a point of instead of just like firecrackers behind them, they've actually got actual dynamite behind them. <laughs> um oh, yeah, great. That's why that's why I love Silver Age comics i wish i had more of these i really do that's why i love silver age comics if anything for the covers they're just great i could look at that forever i really could well not, not forever but you know what I mean. that's it no more comics for this video all done for now um yeah if you haven't subscribed to one of my to my channel yet please feel free to do so subscription button down here big red thing says subscribe you can't really miss it uh comments comment section down below always great to hear from you guys i always try to comment back to anyone who comments in the comment section down below and i always read all the comments that are put down there uh if you've got something to say about any of the comments that you've seen here if you've got any questions you want to ask me or even if you just want to say hi comment section down below that's what it's there for uh yeah and the usual things that i usually say at the end of these videos thumbs up great thumbs down if you feel like it but like i always say if you want to thumbs down the video just say why you thumbs down the video in the comment section down below because it's the only way i'm going to make these videos better it really is there you go oh that was quite a long one actually <laughs> that just leaves me to say thank you for watching love the comics that you read be nice to each other and i'll see you again soon. Ta-ta for now.